Oh, I am called the NYE, the son of the wonderful. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, uh, depending on your geographical location and your time zone. Welcome back. New old subscribers, you are all welcome. We are going to discuss about the visit of uh, the governor of Anambra State to Ochanja Market in Onicha, in Anambra State, um, the scene of the collapse mega uh, structure or mega plaza that is under construction in the market by some investors that um, claim some lives or recorded some fatalities. Um, today, being 26th, uh, 27th day of uh, February 2024, the governor of Anambra State, Professor Chukuma Soludo, visited Ochanja Market, the audible session, where massive uh, plaza or mega plaza that will contain thousands of shops collapse out of the five of them three collapse at once and um, there was a murmured crowd in that place this happened as we reported here 5 p.m on monday and um at the scene of this governor's uh, visit, the rescue operation is still ongoing. I don't know why the place was not condoned for the emergency services to do their work, but the people blocking everywhere. I know those people helped yesterday, but some of them are constituting obstruction to the work of the emergency services. And uh, we are going to discuss his visit to the site because as we are, um, as the time of bringing these, uh, many people are still believed to be trapped under the rubble. Um, these are workers because the, the work was being done day and night because the contractor was, uh, or the investors wanted to make uh, start making money as soon as possible and this has um, forced them to use uh, um, uh, poor construction standards and um, according to the governor the governor said that um, he was not he did not approve that that any construction in the market must go through him for final approval that that wasn't the case but we are going to discuss in another vlog about his statement to see the statement he's making that he wasn't aware of this if it's right or not but we are going to discuss about this in our subsequent um discussion series consigning the homeland so that's uh, people that gathered there you can see that um, that place around 100,000 people do business around that place a uh, hundred or more hundred thousand or more around that Ochanja area um, as we discuss this like us full circle of uh, Nigeria it, um, but um, the Ochanja market, we have done a, a vlog on the Ochanja market about the poor uh, infrastructure, the poor housing. The shops are really, really a danger to businesses, a danger to businessmen and women because the buildings were built in the past. The, the Ochanja was built by the investors that didn't 
care about human beings and build something that was very substandard and uh, all the time it keep on collapsing. I was in one of the places I can see how people were saying that they have many times been wounded by things falling off from the roof, falling off from the deckings. You can see the you can see it once you get in there, you can see it. Sometimes you'll be asking, um, uh, where are the government and the government official who who allow this thing to happen? Because if all these things, if anything happened, people uh, they will turn around and say, Oh, it's the devil that did this. Yeah, the devil is a, a causer of evil, is the father of evil things. But we human beings are also helping the devil by not doing the right things. And the governments in Nigeria are not helping at all because of uh, uh, they don't do their jobs. For me, if I am the governor of that state, the Ochanja would have been bulldozed. And a superstructure of five or six story level a uh, high multi-level that will go across round of it will be built with a modern facility underground car parks and um, modern facility will actually turn that place really a real Dubai uh, shopping experience. I'm telling you if I'm the governor I will be bold enough to do that because this is not fit for purpose I will do it in stages. I will even try to get the Our Ladies School to expand some of it to that place. I will do it in stages so that the people are, you know, are not completely displaced, but we will get um, proper construction work done there, where people will be amazed at the the structure. It will be. Um, uh, although I will do a vlog on that, my thoughts about how Ochanja should be. Not what we are seeing. That's not fit for purpose. That's not what Ochanja should be. So, um, but uh, we're going to do a vlog on that. But um, uh, by the way, let's just uh, um, look at uh, the video release of his visit and listen to him also, what he has to say. I am called the NYA. Please like, comment, subscribe to this channel. Please support us. Share our videos, share our videos, and we'll come back and um, continue our discussion. Stay tuned. Even now, look at that. Even now, top, even now, top of that. Because I didn't want to 
I think uh, you have heard from the governor of Anambra State on what transpired in that place. There are a lot of uh, questions that has not been answered about this, but we are not going to discuss about this at the moment because we are very, very... Um, I am very, very sad since uh, yesterday I had this. At the time I had this thing happening, I was heartbroken because I know these are human beings. Human beings being, um, you know, I don't know what the word I would say, but um, these are people God created in his own image that fell under the trap of greedy investors i know that anambra state has been a construction site for the past two three years now i know that the state has witnessed upsurge in construction even now the economy is so bad in nigeria everywhere construction and you know, people are responding. On each are alone, there are so much construction. Around this market, many of the buildings are being bought over. People are bulldozing it down and building. You know, I don't know what will happen in, in a year or two. The whole of nature will completely transform. I know. But is the government uh, ahead in this development? That's the question. Um, I don't, it's not what we're going to discuss now. We're going to do a video about that and uh, discuss a lot of things. Because remember, we are here, um, this channel is uh, 
informative, educative, and entertaining. So we do entertain you, we do also inform you, we bring ideas that if is uh, pursued, will bring a, a lot of changes, will bring about transformation. So I, my sympathy to the families of those people who uh, were caught in this uh, um, uh, incident. Also, um, I have to thank the governor for responding. I know that some go some governors might, or some politicians will not even bother to care because that has been the situation in Nigeria. But also, we also look at the those who are um, the government also who are also to be blamed and hold accountable for this. So that's what we have to also look at. So, um, Ochanja, <laughs> this is uh, a place that is, it looks very small when you look at it, but you see sea of heads. Around 100,000 or more people do business in this place. Both their customers, both the people have uh, this. In this small place, you have thousands of shops. And even people blocking everywhere, doing business. This is like a heart of the, the city. Although it looked chaotic because the government wasn't um, doing anything much in the past. That's what Soludo was saying about uh, uh, changing that area. But in another video we are going to do, we are going to talk about what he need to do in Ochanja. The boldness he has to, he has to put in Ochanja. If you want to transform on nature for good, that on Ochanja area is the one that he has to be very, very bold on. And once he do it, I'm telling you, in the years to come, people will remember him. People will remember him because... That area can be fetching the government more money than even airports. I'm telling you, the government can make 20 billion or 30 billion from here alone every year. More than that, even if you want to. But he needs to do the right things. In this area, this small area can be fetching the government between 20 to 30 billion annually without much sweat. And he will be going to the account straight away. But there is something, there are a lot of things the government need to do in this Ochanja area to bring about this. So, the government must be bold. They must take action. They must do the right things. But we are going to do more video on this. This will not be the end of this talking about this or change. We are, we are going to talk so much about this because it is our homeland. We care for the development of this homeland more than ever before. You know, looking at what is happening around the world, what is happening even in Nigeria, your homeland must be top notch. You must transform your homeland. There's no excuse anymore. There's no time for hanky-panky. Our homeland must be livable. It must be prosperous. It must be the final destination and it must not be the departure launch. People have to be coming to the homeland and we have to make it to happen. We must do what we see other places in the world. What is even better we must build something that is better. We cannot continue in the old ways. So this is, we are discussing about Ochanja incident, where a mega structure or plaza that is under construction collapsed. This is the visit of the governor of the state. The Erudite Professor of Economics, Professor 
Tukuma Soludo. And this is him speaking. So I think we're gonna stop, uh, we're gonna end this video now because we don't want this video to be so long. Uh, thank you once again. Remember to like, remember to share, remember to subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. See you in the next video. Bye.